So, you know, we thought it would be really kind of cool to, uh, it's a windy day, we're not fishing. And I know that we're gonna be going over to the Bahamas to do some Wahoo fishing pretty soon. So today would be a good day for me to check all my Wahoo stuff. So high speed trolling consists of having different weights. You got a 16 ounce here, we got a 32 ounce, these you can buy at almost all your tackle stores. They come pre-rigged with a wire and a big snap swivel and a clip on the other end. I got my pre-made leaders up on this spool. So what would typ typically happen is I'm gonna have a double line on my 80 wide Akuma Makaira with the bent butts. And then I'm gonna put these leaders and then I'll also put this as well as the trolling lures themselves. Now, R&R Tackle has a whole series of trolling lures. As you can see, Ray has been quite gracious and send me some because he knows that Wahoo season's coming. So we have the Wahoo Magnum series, greens. They all have lead heads. They come pre-rigged with wire. And the one thing I can tell you because of Ray Rocher's experience and all the years of fishing offshore, whether it was for wahoo, sailfish, billfish, uh, marlins, dolphins. He owns a charter boat it's called the Miss Brit. There's two of them out of Miami. This dude knows what it takes. He knows about the crimps. He knows how important it is to have the wire uh, and the exact links. Look at how the Wahoo's famous for cutting off things at the very end. And I love the fact that the R&R tackle stuff has the hook exceeded right out to the very end of the mylar and the rubber skirt. So he's not going to miss a bite. So now we're just gonna stagger. I wanna check all my stuff. I got a D hooker there so that when I get that fish beside the boat, I don't get hurt. And you know, again, Wahoos, in my opinion, they really like dark colors. So my favorite colors are the Halloween color, orange and black. Doesn't really matter the head so much. I think it's whatever you have confidence in. Here's an all black one. Purple and black is a real popular color. You can also stagger the head sizes. So you can put stuff really close you can see this thing weighs a ton. This is a double hook rig. This is made by some of the guys over in uh, the West Coast economy bait and tackle, but this is heavy in itself. So the whole idea when we're setting up our, our distance is we're gonna have floss marks on our Akumas. We're gonna have a 400 foot floss mark, a 300 footer, a 200 footer, and then a 100 foot. And then what we do is we vary the weights so that when we're doing S turns, which you do lots of tight S turns, they're not getting tangled. They're, not, they're at different lengths behind the boat, as well as different depths based on the weight of the head and the weight of the trolling lure itself. I did a Sportsman's Adventure episode with Bree, and man, did we wreck them. Get him, Bree. What was amazing to us is the rods that got hit the most were the short rods, the one at 100 foot and the one at 200 foot from the props themselves. So you wonder if the three Yamahas 
and creating all that white water and white wash, the zigging and the zagging, and having those heavy weights close to the boat, if those are the ones, because they were deeper, is the reason why we got the bites. Guys, it's all about preparation. You can see I got my weights here, so that if I'm going over the Bahamas, all I gotta do is grab this kit. There's a big 60 or an 88 ounce weight. You can see the different size weights. I could just clip them in and clip them out. Look at how awesome this is as far as the setup goes. Pre-made lures, pre-made leaders, monofilament leaders. You gotta have the monofilament leader so that you have something to grab and leader the fish. Typically, they're around 100 feet from the time you go from the bimini all the way to the lure itself between leaders, weights, and the hooks. Like I said, now's a good time for me to check to make sure if there's anything I need. I'm gonna pull all my weights out and see the different size weights that I have. Make myself a note in my iPhone. And then when I go to Captain Harry's or Don's Bait and Tackle, I can pick up the stuff that I'm lacking. I think we're doing pretty good though. Purples, cone heads, jet heads, heavy heads, light heads, and a variety of different colors. Purple and black, black and red. I really like the dark colors for the Wahoos. Already, already got the heavy wire leaders on there. Remember that Wahoo, you'll see sometimes we get bites on the lead weights. So that's why it's really important to buy these lead weights that already have the wire running through them because when you go on a pack of Wahoos, you know, it can actually, uh, you'll get a bite on your lure, you'll get a bite on your weight. Sometimes you get two bites you know, simultaneously. And those Wahoos, when they hit the lure going the other way and you're in 15 knots going forward, it's a wrecking ball. So if you guys want more about this stuff, wanna learn more about these tips, you can just simply subscribe and that'll keep you informed as what's going on at the Rick Murphy, Captain Rick Murphy YouTube channel.